What is that noise? That's me. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, it's my fault we're late and gay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to... Yeah, what the hell is... I mean, it, when it's true, it's true. All right, Tyler. Um, it's very nice, Clifton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with that being said, everybody, welcome to Monday Night's House of the Dragon. Uh, we're, we're doing episode number three. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, so, and um, if you're getting YouTube notifications late, trust me, um, YouTube being weird lately so uh with that being said speaking of uh the prince of weird let me mr jv i know that would be me so lovely to be back talking about a wonderful show with wonderful panelists none of which are more wonderful than my youtube girlfriend miss anna's game land here i less than three you well, i mean you just kind of it introduced her so um hello anna hi uh, <clears throat> I still got my dog meat right here, so. I did not get a chance to say hi while you guys were streaming earlier, but I will rewatch the replay because. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clifton. <laughs> what the fuck is up with my hair? <laughs> what? You just noticed this? It's so weird. <laughs> but, no, uh, great to be here. Thank you for having me. Hello, uh, <laughs> Ryan. My YouTube boyfriend, JV, Tyler, and Cliff, Terry, Garion, I guess. Yeah, what? Cliff <laughs> <laughs> Harris? That is Clifton wonderful. Viserys, Cliff Harris, Targaryen? Uh, hi. Hey. Whoever you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's four o'clock. I'm here. Well, appreciate you being here, man. Seriously. Uh, no, yeah, no, I know that um, this is this is late for you. Uh, speaking of somebody who actually wasn't late, um, uh, in, 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 you know, Tyler the Redbeard. What's up, man? Hey, yeah, I I can't really speak on hair styles or anything, so <laughs> looking good, man. Uh, but, well, it reminds me of when you shaved your beard. You were obsessed with it. <laughs> No, no, no. Every, every, everybody was. No, you kind of were. 
No, um, he, he, yeah, you're still talking yeah, about that. Yeah, yeah it's just, I'm just saying. This is like Mean Girls. You're just obsessed with me. It's, well, what? You're well, obsessed with me and my sweet beard. I can't blame you. It's pretty sweet. Speaking <clears throat> of the best of us on this show, that'd be Lily 300 Mirrors. Hey, Lily. Okay, okay so you know what? No, we might as well just do this now because it's gonna it's gonna come up. I'm just thank you. I've been rele just, relegated to the bottom. It's that's we'll just we'll just do that. Hi, Lily. Actually, how are you? I, I, like actually, you're the whole reason we have this show, Ryan. You deserve to be up here. It should be me uh, and JD. Actually, <laughs> actually, actually, Ryan, you and actually Ryan, you and Tyler switch spots. That that would put you on the bottom then. <laughs> I get. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so House of the Dragon. Um, I I had a very long day, so I have not watched the episode. I vaguely remember it, so I'm, I'm going to let you guys do more speaking than I do. Um, and I'll kind of comment since I see it behind Cliff, me. Cliff, you go with your hair there, bud? You having some issues? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not used to all this long hair. All the locks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All those flowing locks. <laughs> well, you look. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. What's up, JV? Oh my gosh! It's it, it's been too long. I know, I know. <laughs> it, it it uh it definitely has, and this is the name of this episode. Second of his name, so yeah. we it starts out pretty intense. Um, so JV or Lily, would you like to kick us off? I'd say ladies Lily. first, but <laughs> ah, Dempsey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dempsey. That's crazy. I, He's hey, got a wig on. I don't know what direction to go with that. Hey, buddy. Um, Lily, would you like to kick us off with the episode, please? Oh, I have to share it, dumbass. Yeah, you might want to start with this. Yeah. All right, here we go. So we are. So we are. So we we are starting off. We are in the Stepstones, and this is where. Valarians and Damien are in full are in, are engaged in full battle against the Triarchy, led by the Crab Feeder. And we get to see Damien on Fiery. We get to see Damien on Caraxus doing Caraxus things. Guys being nailed to a post for the tide to come in for the crabs, and begs for. Damon to save him and get stepped on. Your I mean, typical kind of weekend. <laughs> Your typical weekend right. if you're a Targaryen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. It's fun. Uh, anyone else want to chime in? Tyler, Anna, Clifton? No, I'm ready to go to war. I want to defeat the crab feeders. Oh, Sorry, okay. we had a weird weather okay. change. It was like almost 80 degrees yesterday, and today it was like 42. So um, my allergies or sinuses are freaking out because uh, oh, severe weather change. Weather forecast. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, dude. So obviously, Damon has done his Damon thing. Oh, he's talking about Ow. dude gets nailed. Yeah, get away. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. Trophy literally. Crabs on him. It's kind of um just just what? what? CLS Studio says Game of Thrones season eight greater than House of the Dragon. Wrong. <laughs> no. <I don't>. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> He says, also, hi, guys. So I don't think you're going to catch that opinion too many places. So uh, basically what this so so what this little opening scene is saying is that if you if you fight against the crab feet eater, you're going to get nailed and get crabs. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Tyler, would you like to comment on crabs? Jesus Christ. No. Next topic. <laughs> OK, let's let's just get to the. <laughs> I'm not saying either. Uh, let's just get to the dragon, shall we? It's what we're all here for. 
Hello, Caraxus. It's such a good shot. Get saved. I mean, technically, he does. Yeah, he's no longer in. Uh, no, he's no, yeah. no longer in pain. Oh, yeah. Mission oh, accomplished. There you go. I, I kind of feel like it's like getting your your head cut off. Like your your heart's not going to stop instantly. You would probably still be a w conscious for a couple more seconds. They say that's have a thing. Ever, have you ever have you ever seen have you ever seen a, have you ever seen an animal get Get its head chopped off. The body still moves. There's still nerve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's chicken. What is up there, Jacob Einstein? How you doing, man? It's good to hey, see you. Hey, Jacob, what's up, man? Hey. Jacob. Also, I, I did. Um, I I did fail to. Uh, my apologies. Uh, it, of course, R two or JT or both of them have a great show, folks. Uh, and uh, of course, Eric Douglas says, "What are your thoughts about?" Rias. Re oh, Rias. Oh, that's that's a topic for Wednesday night. Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Rocky the Black Dragon says, hey, everyone. What's up there, man? I appreciate you being here. And um, yeah, so that's my fault because um, what's up there, Wade? Hey, hey Ryan and lovely Anna and Clifton. Okay. Um, there's other people, Wade. <laughs> so not, not me <laughs> and JV and Lily. Cool. Okay, cool. Thanks. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wade does things in in waves. No, no, um, no it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's it's fine. fine. Get real hot and steamy. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> What's up, DJ? What's up, there, buddy? So he's hiding in his cave. Right. I mean, would you really come out though when you're torching every? I mean, this is what they do. I mean, this is the, this this is how they're this is how they're able to be. This is how they're able to be. This is how they've been so effective. The mm -hmm. the the Valarians have dragons. They have a couple dragons. So you bring the dragons out. You go you go hide. In the caves, where you're, is, you're not as vulnerable. Okay, right, now, so now, now we miss something there. Damon gets shot in the shoulder with an arrow, and almost instantly, and almost instantly, Caraxes the recoils, almost in the almost in the exact. Almost in the exact same way. This is something that we did not see in Game of Thrones. The actual bond between dragon and dragon rider. There is there there is almost a, a symbiotic re re relationship be, be, be between them. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, anybody have any thoughts on maybe why that is? Um. I I think it's, there's it's only the a handful of us. It, 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 it's the magic. Um, so I, I just was maybe assuming because a dragon rider is a little bit different than being the mother of dragons. Like maybe it's... it's Did she ride the dragons that often? Uh, she really did recall. a decent amount. She, I like this. She, she wrote... She wrote... Um, she, she wrote when... When Drogu Gun was a, able to be ridden, she rode him. A, she she rode him a, him a lot. But I think maybe this is just my own this is spitballing here. So many generations have passed that that magical bond kind of weaned a bit. Yeah, I was going to say that they're just, almost like domesticated, and then they they kind of turn back to more wild after uh, when they're not being used as much. Yeah, I mean, it, Lady, it might be kind of similar. Ladies' thoughts, kind yeah. Like horses, you know, horses weren't weren't domesticated, and then they were, and they kind of they'll kind of do that where you you know you don't really they'll kind of know where they're supposed to go, but uh, if they're wild, then they're not going to do that. 
Mm. Ladies, thoughts? No. Okay. I don't think so. Good talk. <laughs> um, I think it gets into it a little bit more in the books. It kind of describes it. Like, I know Shadow's not here. I think he's the only other one that's read the books, maybe. But it kind of does describe it that... Um, they started their practice where um, they would actually put the egg in the crib of the baby. And since birth, they actually oh, start to bond with their dragons. And um, they actually say that if you're a true Targaryen, the egg will actually hatch. And if you're not, your egg actually won't hatch. Um, mm. So yeah, ever since, so you basically grow up with your dragon. Like if you were lucky enough to, to have one like that. And basically, if you don't and you claim someone else's dragon, you, well, I mean, we kind of saw it already with Aegon. Um, you have to be very careful in that dragon also. You you have to find a way to kind of bond with it as well, or, or it's just not going to do anything for you. Like, it's not going to be like a horse where anyone can ride a horse. No, that dragon belongs to you and you're the only one that gets to not control it because you're never going to be fully in control of a dragon. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, yeah, that is true. But also, like Balerion was uh, somebody that Viserys rode. But before Viserys, there was lots of people that rode Balerion. Same thing with Vagar. Um, I think with Caraxes and uh, Damon, it, it's a whole different relationship. And. It, it's like you can have a horse and you can ride it, but in this situation, they're establishing the fact that they are so bonded. They're so close. They're like one and the same. Um, and so, again, I guess it goes back to the magic of it all. Why, you know, he gets shot in Caraxes is like, oh, well, like, I feel it too. But then... I don't know if anybody could ride Caraxes like they rode Balerion or Vagar. Um, so would you want to, though? Yeah. I That's mean, a nasty beast there. I mean, maybe it had something to do with it there at the end that Balerion was already, like, very old. So he might have been a little bit more like, okay, yeah, whatever, I'm going to die soon, so who cares? And then... <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's true. All right, Viserys. Yeah. All right, Viserys. Hop, yeah. hop on. Just do one tour around the city. We're good. And then I'm going to die. <laughs> exactly. Well, because, I mean, it, it is stated that that he, he never rides him again, right? No. Um, so it's one, one of those one time because Viserys didn't have that. Um, I mean, it's pretty impressive. I don't know if um if I didn't have that connection with a dragon, I would try to ride one because you're risking getting your face eaten or your whole body. Mm. So yeah. Um yeah, D Day says pretty much, yeah. So he's yeah, as somebody who's not read the books, don't do not take my word for this. My knowledge is of the show is uh is, is this is the second one. And so all right, so uh Crax is like, we've got to get out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Uh, Dipsy says he hasn't seen House of the Dragon. He does have my hair. It's a little quiet. Yes, he does. Oh, and so this, so this is about a, this is a, so we, so we have just had a two year time, time jump here. Yes. Now, these are now, some of the things that, People yeah, were worried about. Has been getting busy. He got a little busy. Yes, he got did. a little busy. Yes, he did. And this is what, as Ryan said, <laughs> Alicent has produced a male child, and now the High Towers are like, okay, here we go. This is is the plan, so we can move away from this Rainera bullshit. Now that Damon's been disinherited. And we're going to go with this because, of course, we are. And Otto's like, oh, well, I'm not too sure about that. And his older brother says, well, that's your job to make him go this route. Yes. Um, anybody want to chime because in? Because the Hightowers, 
because the high towers hate Targaryens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, Basically, not... now it's on like Donkey Kong. Let's do this. <laughs> Still getting to all the drama. And Viserys well, could not be happier. And as we see, Rhaenyra's like, great. You're happy, Dad. What about me? What yep. about me? Well, because, okay, so on top of that, <clears throat> she is somebody who didn't really want she was she's very very well she's she, she, what four, supposed to be 14 at the time of this now she's 16 right is that where we're 17 going with this? 17, 17 okay now. okay she didn't care she didn't want none of this crap like going then all of a sudden it's like this is to be bestowed on you and then two years later it's like okay monkey wrench um so it's well, it's because it's it well it's because of what Rainey said. Yes, the father will be expected to remarry, and will be expected to produce children. One of those children will be a male. Men would rather put the realm to the torch than see a woman on the iron throne. This is this has stuck. This has stuck with her. Mm -hmm. So even though she is she is still officially named the heir to the throne, all of a sudden there's. A, a male child that's gonna that's gonna be in the back of your mind just churning away yeah it's it's it's, it's very poorly let's just say that all right so this morning he insisted on eating porridge with his hands <laughs> it will grow <laughs> yeah yeah he's gonna grow he's a two year old <laughs> what what great insight yeah, too Oh, he's not going to stay that side forever? Oh, thank you. Wow, what? Uh, wide also, at the, same, at the same time, you can see Otto Hightower's lack of patience for, for all things. Um, you know, he has one a one-track mind, and it's that he wants his, his family to rule. And he he doesn't care about the kid except for what the kid can do for him and his family. You can see he's like, oh, he insisted on eating porridge with his hands. It's like, yeah, kids also eat their boogers. Instead like, what are you talking about? Instead of using utensils, right yeah, off the bat. Yeah. What do you think the kid calls Otto? Like Papa or Pappy? <laughs> probably nothing. He's probably never held a child. Well, he's got to know his grandpa. I mean, it's just he's always. I don't dead. know, dude. He Otto in this scene doesn't seems like he's so very he doesn't seem very close to him. Yeah, he's he's not even close to his own daughter. Yeah, who he went I'm away. Sure, I I I would it, it would not surprise me if Otto would creep into the baby's room and, and just be like you will be king. You will be king. <laughs> and he just you goes, okay, Poppy. Okay, <laughs> can I go to sleep now? Uh, uh, yeah, his um. King. You fucking creeper. You creep. As as is said here, it only remains for Viserys to name him the heir to the throne. Obviously, again, Otto's um attention is is very, very somewhere else. He doesn't care. Well, you have to wait till he's like like old enough to hold a conversation at least. I mean, that's a two year old. Well, probably somewhere right. in the neighborhood of uh ten. Yeah, that's a little bit older. Eight, even, I mean, even ten, eight, is pretty, eight or ten, and then if, young, if, but good if, lord, if Grandpa's still God around, damn. he can basically do what. Um, um, oh shit, why am I blanking on? I kind of want my kings to not be in diapers. That's that's kind of where I, I don't know. I I kind of disagree. I I, I well, think young guy old, to be honest. not <laughs> as bad as Tyrion Lannister. Like with Tyrion, like I can at least mm -hmm. uh, not Tyrion, uh, Tywin. Tywin, uh, thank you. Yeah, Tywin. Uh, I, I think Otto does care about his family, but in, I mean, again, like juxtaposition between the two characters, like Tywin, I could not see him being um, sympathetic or even approaching his grandchild with any love. With Otto, I can see him doing that behind the scenes as long as nobody else is watching. I mean, I, I'll 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 agree to that definitely somewhat because um, obviously Tywin was um, he's also very aggressive when he talked to his family. Um, Otto is just 
neutral or devoid of any type of emotion when it comes to even when he seems to be angry he just he talks to you more intently but it's not angered and and, and Tywin definitely got irritated at his family so uh, uh, uh Falcor Dempsey would be my answer um, <laughs> aren't they I mean, remaking that I mean, damn movie yeah they're doing a remake of the never ending story yeah. are they really yes mm-hmm. yeah i've never seen how to train your dragon but i'm standing with that and as, as cool as that. toothless is as cool as toothless is i mean caraxus is pretty badass so i'm gonna have to go with house of the dragon dragons yeah yeah i would go with house of the dragon for sure for sure not yet. I didn't even look at that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, House of the Dragon. I mean, uh, no shade to Falcor. He's adorable and he's kind, but House of the Dragon, for sure. He's also, he, he kind of looks like a dog. He does. Dog. He looks like yeah. a hybrid little. Yeah. 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 That, was, that was the whole like, debate people were having. Like, is Falcor a dragon or a dog? <laughs> a flying dog or a dragon? It, yeah. it no, kind of makes well, me well, think the situation with well, Donkey and Dragon skills. from Shrek happened, and that's how we got Falcor. Donkey! Oh! Oh, Donkey! Yeah, they had some weird-looking offspring. I'm not sure how that worked. Like a donkey and a mule kind Very of Very carefully. Thing? I don't know. <laughs> Very yeah. carefully. Yeah. Could their offspring yeah, reproduce with, like, each other? Or I don't oh. know how that would work. Well, donkeys can reproduce. Mules can't. Um, fuck, we're so off base. My bad. No, I'm um, talking about the donkey dragon hybrid. No. From Shrek. Can they no. reproduce? That's what I want to know. Well, look it up. Google. <laughs> Dragons are real. Let's, stop, let's stop everything and, and <laughs> go into research on this, guys. Or we can just go back to House of the Dragon. Either way. We, we, uh. Drinky. Drinky. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the okay, so Viserys is being informed that uh, things are happening on the Stepstones, and he kind of was like, he's like, oh, this wants no part of it. You know, wants no part of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's like, does anybody know where Renera is? Well, he to intervene now. He's got good reason. I mean, why does he want to help them out? Actually, weak. Yeah. can someone tell me where in the Seven Hells Renera might be? Under the dragons. So, so okay. So, uh, so again, this. So again, this is. So again, this previous scene just encapsulates the type of king Viserys is. He doesn't want to be bogged down with with the business of being a king. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. He wants the. He wants to have parties. He wants to have tournaments. He wants to have balls. He wants lavish celebration he wants everyone to get along have some drinks and let's just have a good old time and when when um it's a uh i it's it's not jason let and but it's but it, but it is but it is but is but it is one of the other let anisters said you know the situation is getting bad and he's like it can wait another three days bruh three days in a war can Change can can change the entire outcome really fast. Oh, uh, yep, when you're using bows and arrows and swords, yeah, yeah. Like going even even back in World War One and World War Two, three days is an eternity for your your forces to be yeah. slaughtered if if they're outflanked. Um. So so anyway, getting back to what Renera is doing, we see Allison who's. She's popping part two. Yeah. You're been busy. To the outer courtyard. The royal hunt ready to depart. Decided to remain here and read instead. You, you know, and, and it's really quite sad too. Later on, when you see um, when you see um, in, in intimacy between them, I think it's it, a couple episodes down the road. She just she just stares off to the side towards the ceiling, not even any looking anywhere near him, and it's it's. It's kind of such a such a bummer too. Is that like on even over the course of time, like where she was trying to win him over and empathize with him? Well, I would say sympathize, and then eventually 
human beings have a hard time separating emotions. Eventually it would become empathy, but she still seems to just don't want anything to do with him. So it, it, it's, um, it's, I guess that's Westeros. You may go, Samwell. You want to stay by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godhood at once. Princess. Your grace. A big difference between princess and your grace. Join us. The king has much to celebrate. He does not need me. He wants for us all to be together. And perhaps the hunt could... Uh -oh. looks like JV. Yeah, he's got some connection issues. Yeah, he's having some. So JV's having con some connection issues. Uh, he'll be right back. I'm just going to some. Yeah, first no shadow, now no JV. Man, this is a, this is a good day. <laughs> I mean, awful day. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> he can't hear me. He's fine. Oh, oh, he's back. Well, hey, uh, you were just singing your praises. Yes, I can hear you. Uh, oh, I'm I'm in the shit. Wow, you. So we're person. so so we're gonna go. So I believe where we're at is Rhaenyra is in the God of the Wood, and Alice was like, eh, "Come on, it's time to go." And she's like, "I don't want to go." And she says, "Well, the king has requested. Is that is that a command? Yes." But then. Of course, Your Grace. I, I, I will show up. And Renair is still salty about this entire situation. Yes, yes, she is. Obviously, I, I, I figured, um, Tyler. I just shifted you to the side. We needed, according to Dempsey, we need the the pretty blonde in the middle. Um, he's, oh well, yeah, okay, sure. He was mm -hmm. most likely not talking about Clifton, but it's funny still. Um, you don't do that. Stop. <laughs> Stop with you. And now we're off to a hunt. Yay. Should you be traveling in such condition? The maester said that being out in nature would do me well. Well, you would be with your own child sooner than later. Oh, it, she, you just said the wrong thing to her. She's mm -hmm. like, you're going to be pregnant too someday. Oh, fuck, fuck off. The wrong thing to say to a Targaryen woman who literally has um who, 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 again who clearly doesn't who clearly doesn't want to be married. Yeah. It's kind of the only thing she's supposed to do though. Well, she okay, so well, I'm well, gonna... not not well not not anymore she's not because she's been elevated well beyond where where she would nor normally be. Hey, and I think I think Lily might actually kind of side with me on this one. Um, Renera and Daenerys seem to have somewhat similar, that kind of blood of the dragon thing. It's like you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm going to do what I think is best for me, and in time, I'll get to where I need to be. It, it just kind of seems to be somewhat similar um, between the two of them, in a sense. Uh, but. Again, I haven't read the, I haven't read House of the Dragon. I know it's a, it's a single book. It's not, it's not multiple books, but, um, the books you read, Ryan, they have so. like lots of things, don't they? Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Um, I actually haven't gotten to that part in the book because I don't want to spoil the rest of it for myself. So I can't really tell you what she's like in the books yet. Okay. But I think it's just um uh, I huh. maybe it's just their circumstances, not necessarily that they're like the same. It's just that I mean Rainera is probably afraid that she's gonna get married and whoever she marries or whatever, she's gonna get completely brushed off for, especially if she has like a son then everyone's going to kind of forget about her. And right now she's like, no, I don't want to get married. I don't want anybody to like overshadow me. 
I kind of want to show everyone what I can do and that having a woman like on the throne isn't necessarily like a bad thing. I think that's where she's coming from. I that's how I would feel about that cuz mm. okay. And then Daenerys of course. Gonna... And then with Daenerys, Go. sorry. Go. <laughs> Sorry, JB. And then Daenerys, I mean, it was kind of the same thing too. Not necessarily that she wanted to get married or anything. She just didn't have that on her mind necessarily at all. Because her one goal from the beginning was to take the Iron Throne and take back what was hers. Where Rhaenyra's situation is a little bit different. Everybody expects her to get married. And she's like, no, I'm going to like, that's not what I want right now. I want to prove to you guys that I can be, I can be a queen. Right. And 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 this and this entire day, this this is his second. This is Aegon's second name. Name it. This is this is a big deal. So they're having this big hunt. It's a big party. And again, going again, going back to what Rainey said, this is sticking in her mind because she says here now for two and a half years she's been named the heir to the throne. Next to the king, she's the most important person in the realm. And as she says, no one is here for me. I am more important than that kid. And yet, and yet you all are making a big to-do because you're going to marry me off and pass me over. Mm-hmm. And take, yeah. and, and, yeah, take what, and, and, and take exactly. what you promised me. Take it away from me. Well, new circumstances. So, yeah. I mean, but and look, I think I think all of us can kind of see it. Other than maybe should do, um, he probably would too. Actually, he's been pretty humble about most of this. Uh, he can. We can kind of understand where she's coming from. She's like, "Yo, y'all are shelving me and pushing me off to the side like I'm old bananas." Not so bad. The days are long, but Egon came quickly and without fuss. You should ride out with me today. Join in the chase. Rather not. Well, no, the like chase. Yeah, the chase for the for, for the stag. Yeah. Big uh, chase like going on. Yeah, no, there's there there is no chase. You just walk you up. Princess. It's like trout farm fishing. You have duties. I am ceaselessly reminded. I'm sorry? As I am ceaselessly reminded. You would need to be reminded if you ever attended to me. No one's here for me. Boom. Oh. Exactly. And so why is, should she why should she participate and, and, in all this nonsense? It's not for her. And and this is this is kind of that this is kind of that punk rock at the Punk rock mindset that Rhaenyra has. She is rebellious, and it to be and to be and to be quite honest. I don't think she's still, rebellious. I think she's an excellent child. Just well, a kind of a brat still. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would definitely say a little bit of definitely a petulant child in there, but she's it's not, not punk rock. Dog. You're just annoying. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Having middle child syndrome without her being a middle <sighs> child. Wow. Yeah. Well, she, she well, because what she she was first born, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only and, born. Uh, Only and, born. And then, of, and then of course, obviously, um, you know, the her her younger brother died. Her mother died on the same time frame, roughly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I I don't blame her for for having an attitude problem. Um. But no, I mean she she definitely has a she has a pretty large chip on her shoulder. But yeah. as somebody who who went from not wanting to be queen to now I have to be queen, you're telling me I need to be queen. Now you're saying I don't need to be queen again. Now you want to marry me off and you want me to have kids and it's like going I it, it's it's kind of like this roller coaster in like your your stomach's not ready for it. Like going it's just like going ooh. Well, I, ooh. I, I, I would say I would agree with that, except for the fact that it's it's a two year old, so it's been going for quite a while. I mean, you know, we did the time jump, so mm-hmm. true. Well, well, also at the same time, but before that, how um, 
you know, it, it's it's not like that, uh, you know, um, Allison Viserys got married right away. No. It was, it was probably quicker, but it might actually even be I, I maybe a three, three and a half year time jump. Yeah, probably like yeah, probably closer to three because if it's a two year old, you got nine months in there. Yeah, 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 I'd probably say somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. So, I mean, I get the attitude. Doesn't mean that she's right. I'm just saying, I get the attitude. I'm surprised Wait. she's not worse, to be honest. Yeah, I think I think a, a girl of the <laughs> Tyler. Tyler's still over. <laughs> she's pretty rough. Yeah, a woman of the age of seventeen would probably have. Yeah, she's still a teenager. She's got that attitude. They're all like that. Oh my gosh. And she was treated that way for at least two years. So mm -hmm. there's that on top of it. As somebody who has a nephew who's 15, trust me, comes with a lot of attitude. And he's a boy. Yep, mine is 17. And yep, that attitude gets yeah, wow. Until he brings his new his new girlfriend around and then then we start making fun of him. He gets embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, so we got auto waiting. Um, the big celebration. Second of his name day. And it suddenly is like, well. The other yeah, that's true. That's the kid's birthday parties. She's like, oh, it, oh, this birthday party for this child is not about me. Oh, no. Whatever am I going to do? Yes. <laughs> Well, I mean, we Just don't necessarily know that um, how her birthdays have been. She doesn't seem like she would like birthdays. I was kind no. of like catching that. I mean, I, you know. Yeah, this is also kind of where we noticed that Viserys, the weight of um, ruling, has given him a little bit of a... Um, an AA problem? <laughs> it's 12 steps, bro. It's 12 steps. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I think this is this is the first episode where we see him really start to become a drunk. Yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, this is the one where he says, like, the, uh, I can't deal with all these politics or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pillow house in the free cities, if you believe the rumors. You're in the wrong business, bud. I fear the gods did not make me for hunting. Might I sit with you, my ladies? Oh, of course. Please join us. Laris Strong, the youngest son of our Master of Lords, will line us. My lord husband says that no king has ever been able to tame the Stepstones for long. It's an inhospitable place suited only for savages. Perhaps the princess can give... Now, we actually see that Sir, Sir Loris um, has a bit of a deformity. I guess is the best way to put it. Um, he's not going to make the greatest hunter or warrior. Um, oh, with the foot? With the foot. Yeah. This comes into play later, which I don't Lara know. Strong. Really, yeah, Lair is strong. Um, his issue with, the, with, with his own feet um, plays out later on, but we'll get there. I don't know if it needed that, but we'll we'll get there. Uh, if you've seen this, okay. You've seen well, that. well, I mean, well, what we see, what we see is Laris hangs around the the, the women. Why mm -hmm. gossip? Mm -hmm. Information. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he's a, he's got a little bit of little finger in him. A little, Whoa. little, little bit. That's not not like yeah. that. He's oh. definitely not a Ken. He's an Allen. Yeah. Wow, you had to bring you had to, you had to bring <laughs> that into here. JV, wow. of, well, of course. I'm sorry. I have to bring in all my <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're still on Barbie Summer. <laughs> like Tyler, Tyler's like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to remember. I mean, I, I don't remember that much about Alan in I I in I, I, get, I do exactly. <laughs> it, I was do. A, it was the Michael Sarah character, oh. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a good comparison. JV liked it. Okay, I believe you. No. <laughs> no. I hate that. Okay, sorry. Sorry. What what is what what is your um thoughts on Alan from the Barbie movie? I have not seen the Barbie movie. So. 
I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm not sure how I could. I've never been to the Stepstones. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know. I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since you supplanted him as heir. Damon made his choices, Lady Kira. The princess was more suited to the role. He's made a mess and the king must put an end to it. Send fleets and men and clear out the triarchy for good. But the crown is not at war. The crown is at war, princess. Though your father refuses to admit it, we've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. Now have you served the wrong plates, Lady Redwine? Wait and cake. Damn. Lily, did you see the uh, Oscar performance of the Kin song? I of course did. she did. Of yeah. course I did. I was there. She has it. She has it. Just watch that little. She music. has it. The Oscar. She has it. She has it on a loop every day. She drive every every day. She drives to work. Wow. And when she drives home. <laughs> wow. That, yeah, that was me like a year ago listening to the Ken song. <laughs> but yes, Tyler, it was probably one of the best moments the Oscars has ever had because it wasn't like super boring. It was good. It was it was funny and uh, yeah, charming and all that uh, all that good stuff. I yes, it's it. hilarious. He Sorry, was, Ryan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, he was the only. one. Did he win an Oscar? Or he was the only one no. nominated. No. No. Nominated is what it he was, was right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Nominated. Well, that stuck in a lot of people's cross. Um, it was an of, Oppenheimer year, so what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, right. speaking of um, sticking things places where um, it's not sitting well, a Lannister. Oh, Jason Lannister. This, I honestly <laughs> don't recall, and neither will Egan. Lord Jason Lannister gathered that from all the lions. I don't think he's been properly introduced. A twin serves my father's council. Thailand is frightfully dull, God's eleven. Oh, and you're, you're just and, and you're life. just the and you're just the epitome of fun. No, the king's <laughs> yeah. it's fine hunting ground, but the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock. No, near my home. he's at Castle Rock. Okay, so so now we so now we've established that uh, Lannisters are arrogant pricks, and that has not changed. Yep. No. Doesn't he play like his own um, ancestor in Game of Thrones? He does, right? I, th mm -hmm. I think he does. Yep. I think he does. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw him in this the first time around, and I was like, "Wait, why does this guy seem really familiar?" Well, I mean, you know, he does it well, I guess. Yeah, that <laughs> was a, pretty cool. A Deutsch bag. Sorry, Clifton. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Old joke. My bad, dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I, love, I love Germany. <laughs> I, I really do. Fuck. Shut up, Ryan. All right. On tour with my mother when I was young. Honestly, can't recall much of that either. The rock is thrice the height of the high tower in Old Town, taller still than the wall in the north. It's been said that if one were to stand in the tower on a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. It must be quite something. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. Mm, why would why you need one? A dragon pit. <laughs> yeah, dragon, of course. <laughs> I do anything for my queen or lady wife. <laughs> oh, look, we just done and now that. and now Renera knows the real reason why she's here. Yeah, how bold of him to assume. And she is just like, oh, fuck all of this. <laughs> yeah, is that what I am to you? <laughs> A prize to proffer about to the great houses. Here goes. Uh oh. Your age, Renera. Jason Lannister is an excellent match. She's arrogant and self serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. Ow, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sam. Just slinging it back. Yep. I mean, he, I mean, he's not wrong. I'm just saying. No, no, he's not wrong. Um, They're both the brats. difference is, uh, yeah, the difference is, I think um, there's a little bit of, um, e- even at this point, a little bit of morality. Uh, I don't, I don't feel Renera is, is, has the ability to be vicious or cruel. Um, she's just seems to be spoiled to where him, on the other hand, he, he does it. He, he poked, he poked at her saying, uh, my queen or my lady wife, because he's being malicious. No, he's being arrogant. Mm. Great. Just great. He's being- He's, he's an ass. I mean, he he's a Lannister. I mean, he is, he's kind of. I mean, he he is kind of. I never assume. He he has gone in, into this with the assumption that Rhaenyra is going to say yes because obviously he's made some mention to the king, or he or he or he plans on throwing his hat into the ring. To to make to make to make. A proposal to make a a proposal to the queen, to the king, and because he's rich, because he's a Lannister, because they have the gold, because they have the, because they supply a lot of the gold to the realm. Of course, everyone. Of course, you're going to say yes to me. Um, D Day says he's a dick, but not an asshole. Worse people in the show than him. I I don't disagree. Uh, I mean, that Team America monologue. <laughs> yeah, I, I could just, I mean, I could literally ask um, the ladies right now. Um, I think Anna would say, would, would she want anything to do with this guy? Uh, uh, first of all, I don't agree that Rainier is spoiled. I don't understand where that's coming from. Why is she spoiled? Well, I, I believe it was established that that from that 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 she has been uh, doted on her entire life. So there is a degree yeah. of being spoiled. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I would I would call it spoiled. I I'd probably called that um again, she she has been told this that she has been she has been kind of molded into this. And now it's kind of being taken away. So I don't think spoiled is the right word. I, I, I think, um, but, you know, my opinion. So I don't know. Lily, what do you think? I don't think she's spoiled. I mean, she's a princess. So, I mean, she's had her whole life has been pretty, pretty uh, easy. So. I, that's why I mean, I was saying. Well, easy, yeah, but I don't know if I go spoiled. Well, um, I don't know. I mean, riding a dragon isn't being spoiled. Hmm. Lily, yeah. thoughts? Um, uh, she's probably a little bit. I would say it's spoiled. I mean, yeah, like Tyler said, she's been, she's had it Don't easy. I'm, she hasn't, yeah. She hasn't had it easy her life, so she's probably spoiled to a degree. That's why she's kind of acting out a little bit too. I mean, I understand that she she feels like she wants she has to get more attention because she is the heir and she's upset about it. Um, but, so. And and as, R- R- and as quick, far as k- kind of to the, the original question, would you um? I mean. You, you probably want this guy to kick rocks too, because he he's kind of a. Is is D Day said he's kind of a dick? Yeah. Mm, I mean, <laughs> I I don't know if I would be in the same mindset as Renera to be like, no, I'm not gonna like look for anybody to marry. I would see who's got the best offer and who can bring the most to the table. And if he's a possibility, I mean, back then you sometimes didn't even marry each other because you love each other. It was out of um, what you could both accomplish together. So, so yeah. And our thoughts on that? Well, you were going to say something. Going back to Viserys and Emma, 
um, in the beginning, like, they do talk about how they never actually liked each other. It was a marriage that was arranged. And they, over time, slowly grew to have a relationship and really develop a really, you know, intimate, um, good relationship through all of her ordeals being a, a Targaryen and her miscarriages and everything. And he he was always by her side. But at the same time with, with the whole Renera thing, I I don't <clears throat> I, I, I I just don't see where the whole thing is coming from from her being a spoiled child that is I just don't see it. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. okay. I see her as somebody who is put in a situation where she's in in the fact that she needs to marry someone and it's pushed on her by the society she is in. And she just, like JV is saying, she's being punk rock. She's rebelling against it. Yeah, I, I would actually... I would have would actually agree with that because she's not Allison, right? So Allison doesn't want to do her duties to Viserys, but Otto tells her you're to do your duty, and she doesn't question that. Um, and, and I think this this kind of goes to to the fact that where um, I think Renera and Daenerys share that in common, they don't want to be told what to do or forced what to do. Uh, also at the same time, I, 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 I understand the fact that like going, she's, she's kind of pissed off and I don't blame her for that because she was told, you know, that, um, by her father, right. you know, that, um, things were going to be different and it's, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, but anyway, um, this, this is a longer episode, so, uh, I don't want to, I know that, uh, some of y'all are up late. I've been um, slowly drowning in a lake of parchment thrown from every corner of the realm. Marriage proposals all. And I have tried often to discuss it with you. But you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist above tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Uh, excuse me, Your Grace. And... <laughs> Speaking does, of... Does, does, and Viserys does make a point. You know, you even though you may not want to... There are certain things that are expected. Yes. There are certain right. things that's that are what, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Expected. Mm. Now, now, it, now, in the way it's coming across to, in the way it's coming across to, Raynera, well, okay, so you're you were here to pawn me off to some other lord, so you can put Aegon on the throne. No, absolutely not. This is where this, she is kind of just. She's kind of digging in her heels, saying, I'm the heir. I'm going to be queen. This should be my choice. Yeah. Um, and uh appreciate that, man. Uh, well, th th that's so in, in, in kind of elaborating on what D-Day is saying, this is um, we had better discussions um, probably season one two three four five of game of thrones yeah. this is reigniting great discussions about that, that people fall on different sides and and no dempsey's not wrong marriage for romance or love which is um it's a decently newer concept even even in our world it's a d decently newer concept uh yeah i think it's i think it's a better concept but it's also a flawed concept in in a sense but that's our own society uh, aside, but but marrying somebody because you love them makes a marriage stronger. Um, it, it makes a family stronger. But uh, arranged marriages have worked for for decades. But it's it's probably more of a sense of duty than it is um, of anything else. And <laughs> and Viserys even elaborates that, like he's like going, you know, I learn I, I learned to love her, and he's talking about you know Renera's mother. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I definitely, uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, Otto, Otto coming and he's like going, he's like, excuse me, y'all yelling? <laughs> yeah. yeah. First of all, keep it down. 
Yes, Stag is the king so of the king's good, your grace, a regal portent for Prince Egon's name day. And, and of course, Viserys, not one to upset anybody, he changes his tune. He's like, he's like, all right, let's put on a happy face. Mm -hmm. uh, Renera decides to leave. Sir Kristen Cole, right? He yep. he's got his helmet on. Yeah, yep. I, the, he yeah. <clears throat> he notices it's kind of where he starts getting into a little bit of trouble himself. Well, okay, so so right now he he is doing what he is sworn to 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 do, yes protect the princess. So yes, so right now he's just doing his job. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Lipson, right? did you take the wig off? Is that why you're off camera? Maybe. The ladies are allowed to be off camera. You're not. You're a man. Too bad I, I took the camera down. <laughs> Who's I named Earth, the Iron Throne? Like... So that I'm going to raise the standing of a lord of Castle Rock. Mm hmm. You want me to kill him? <laughs> we should return to camp, Princess. He tricked me. We should take in the king's words. Were you ever betrothed to Kristen? I had an adventurous youth when my father served at Blackhaven, to be sure. But my station was never high enough for a formal betrothal. Before I spoke my vows as a knight of the King's Guard, I could have married a common born girl had I wished. How lucky you are to have a say in your own life. Many in the realm would gladly trade positions with you, Princess. Only because none of them has ever held my position. I may be the Princess of Dragonstone, but I'm useless. One day, not so long ago, you held enough power to write my name into the White Book. And when your father named me to his King's Guard, it was the highest honor any Cole had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. Now, I'd hardly call that toothless, Princess. All right. Perspective. So we get an excellent conversation. D D says cool spin. <laughs> he was. Uh all right. So the hunting scene, it it, it doesn't really matter. Um what 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 does matter? Well, no, no, it does matter. It does matter. Because because all this time, because he got told that they have found a white heart. Which is which is a a sign from the gods of royalty, and this being Aegon's second name day, for a white heart to show up. That's right. Yeah. Otto right. Otto Otto is planting this in his head that it's Aegon. It's Aegon yeah. That's who right. Is, Thank who you. Is being, who is who is being told by the gods that Aegon should be king? And so that is very, very significant. Cue, cue the alcoholism. And this is where Viserys becomes a major, and I say major alcoholic, like going, he probably, he's not as bad as Robert Baratheon, but he probably comes a couple stones shy. <laughs> well, he's also, well, I'm sure at some point this is also to dull the pain he's in. I mean, he, oh, I mean, good point. I mean, yeah. His yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got I a mean, lot of. I mean, a lot of uh, pain. Yeah. I mean, I mean, his, I mean, his flesh is being it, it, eaten away. I yes. mean, I mean, his 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 left hand at this point, these two, these two here are gone at, at this point. So yes, and, Wait, and he's got the beard. 
<laughs> Tyler. Right okay, I, I wasn't paying attention. All right. It's this one, Tyler. What? One more time, JV. Which which two was it? Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, one more time. <laughs> which those of us in the audience, um, and I, and I know watching this the first time, I had forgotten that he was dealing with this ailment because it has not been made massively known. Yeah, they don't they don't keep mentioning it, but yeah, that, that is a good point. He's probably self medicating from some exactly. Things. So they show the they fact that like, oh, well, well, we we can we can you know in the last episode we can we can do this, we can try to. It's just, but it's not brought up again. So by the time another episode, a week has gone by, a normal viewer, you know, working a actual, you know, living an actual life, stuff like that, then they're, they're going to think that he's just he's he's dampening himself for the decision he has to make. Yeah. Not realizing until later on that his body is literally eating itself alive. Mm -hmm. Which makes his character a lot more tragic, to be honest. <laughs> he, he does suffer very silently. Shut up. More wine. Oh. <laughs> you there. Bring me more. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Grace. And then Jason comes up to make to make his to shoot his shot. Forged in the Golden Gallery in honor of Prince Egon. <laughs> it's quite a thing. I hope it might provide the killing stroke against your white heart. King of the King's Wood. It's as if the seven themselves are blessed this day. Thank you. We are generous. Again, throwing those seeds in there. Mm -hmm. Well, also, Viserys kind of gives him. Uh, Viserys gives him a little side eye, like, mm, kind of see what you're doing, dude. I, I don't know about that. Oh, no. He literally gives him a look. Okay. You can probably it's, see it coming okay. you know, a couple miles out. Yeah. But go on. I'm just I'm just saying. This I, is a look just... of King of the King's Wood. Yeah, that, that looks like dude, you're bullshitting me. I just saying. Well, I well I or, well, or buttering sure me is. up and it's like, what do you want? Well, okay. Well, again, because spear so he can hopefully present another spear to something else. Hey, -o. and 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 <laughs> as and as and as he will say later, that man's pride has pride. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's he's kind of a pain in the ass. It's as if the seven themselves have blessed this day. Yeah, we know. Thank you. We are generous. Oh, he just laid it on thick. I would be honored to take the Princess Renera to wife, Your Grace. See? What I offer you, the crown and your daughter, the strength. Called it. Oh. Do you think that <laughs> us Targaryen wants for strength? No. If someone offered you more dragons, would you not take them? Do you have, Do you have dragons, dragons to offer? Castle Rock is a splendid seat. Renera may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? Wait. Hold on. If you were to name young Egon heir, Your Grace. And when would I be doing that? <clears throat> okay. I had assumed, as is your firstborn yeah. son, many of us had assumed. Many of us, you say. Have your bannermen questioned my choice of heir? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your Grace. I, 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 I did not decide to name Manera my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Okay, so this is actually, so this is a, this is the positive trait of, of, of the king, is that he's going to stick to his guns. I made this decision. I'm going to stick to this, and no matter how no matter how much you lofty perfumed 
pompous pricks want to, I'm not changing my mind. It, it, exactly. It was just L. You took that loss. Now you got. Are you 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 think my house house is weak? Oh, do you have dragons to offer me? No. Yeah. Okay. And why would I be doing this now? Really? Yeah. And, and do do you think my house is lacking strength with all the flying artillery cannons? He literally just. Yeah. It's like blind napalm. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Um, and you can actually see that uh, by the time he leaves, his face is like, oh, shit. I fucked it up. Yeah. Fucked around and found out. Yeah. And here. What do you make of Lord Jason's proposal? Oh, here we go. Lord Strong. This is a great man. Hey, Vader. What's up there, Matt Vader? It says, going to have to give it a rewatch before season two. You definitely should. Yes, definitely. It's got an excellent rewatch ability. Um, Absolutely. Uh, the, other than this episode, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the rewatch more because I didn't get a chance to rewatch this one. That's on me. Uh, you're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. Is not my wish to Oof. command her. <clears throat> yeah, Otto. I want her to Shut the hell up. There is another choice beyond Castle Rob. <gasps> oh, perhaps you might be more comfortable with one closer to home. Who do you have in mind? Prince Egon. Now, okay, now first off, time out. First off, there's oh, yeah. the Oh, it's very time out. First off, there's the ew, there's the ew factor right there. She's 17, he's two. Um also, but why would Otto propose this? It's not to it's not to make the choice easier. It is Wookie. It what is up, not buddy? to make no what's up, Wookie? It's not to Hello. it's not. It's not to make the choice easier for the king because it still puts a high tower in direct line to the throne. Mm -hmm. And Renera is just again the doting a wife. Pawn. I, I didn't right. get what was his proposal there? Uh, propose Renera and Aegon. To like and he, marry? And he also yeah. says, one, you uh, might be more. I, I didn't get that the first time. Yeah, one you might be more comfortable with, and it's like going. Eh, it's also kind of taking a little bit of pot shots at at the Targaryens for the fact that they don't have a problem with intermarrying. Right. It's also step siblings. That would be also no. They're, they're half siblings. siblings. Yeah, it would be. It it not be okay. <laughs> no, Wookie, you can tune out. There's no good. No good. Uh, Put that again. No. This whole season but, is a little torture for Tyler. But then again, but but then again, but but then again, the two year old boy is named after the conqueror who married his two sisters. Yes. Yeah. Also, at the same time, Tyler, if you if you want some bubes, um, Fallout has yes. it for you. Fallout does. Yeah, the Fallout TV show has boobs. I've I've watched like that. The first episode, and I didn't see any. Well, it's not in the first episode. What? Is Apparently, it? you need to. Do... I said it's not in the first episode. It oh, okay. No, I, I didn't see any in the first episode. So yeah. Um. So so <laughs> what do you? I need Tyler to help me review Velma season two. Well, it's getting late, guys. I gotta go. So yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So anyone else? So the ladies. Anyone else think about what Otto is? What Otto is doing here? Is it really trying? Is it trying to help? Is it trying to help? The is it trying to help the Saris, or is it to further his own gains? Yeah, he's only trying to help himself because <laughs> he jumps in there real quick after that. He's like, "Well, I have a better proposition for you." Yeah. Clifton, thoughts. 
Anna Clifton. Well, Anna said, oh, yeah. But... Now. <laughs> well, okay. You um, is big. Uh, I, 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 I like that you threw Clifton with the ladies. Um, Anna, did you want yeah, to? Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird too. <laughs> I yeah, well, I really to it was the hair. It, 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 it's the hair, you know. <laughs> Poor Clifton. The hair and the mm -hmm. beer. It's, 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 hey, I don't assume genders here. <laughs> Good. All, all are equal under yeah. JVs. And Cliff <laughs> is under me. Well, please don't. The boy just turned two, Otto. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, King's got a point there. <laughs> he does. He, he needs yeah. to be He's uh yeah he he's still wearing diapers, but yeah. It's like... Although in history that wouldn't have been an issue. No, yeah, like it is. It marriage is also... would have been marry you off as soon as you're born. Before yeah. that, basically, probably. yes, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Uh, I I think that um it kind of lends a little bit of credence to the fact that um Viserys doesn't like politics, but at the same time he's like he's got comments. Some he's got. He does have some common sense, even if he doesn't listen to it sometimes. But he's like, uh, yeah. Tom! Like, what up, Hello. buddy? I don't. Hi, Tom. I don't, I don't have any clips for JV you. JV Tom money or something? He left pretty quick. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. He was like, oh, no. Tom, Tom couldn't go to, go to Vegas. So, um, wow, I'm the only one on camera. Fuck that. No, I was just making a point. Sorry, I'm just eating. That's why I'm off camera. Is that a euro? <laughs> oh, it looks like a conch shell. And is that a euro? No, it's shawarma. Isn't that what a euro is? A shawarma? Uh oh, Ryan's confused. <laughs> Well, she, she, she's never mind. But, all right. So, Viserys is in it. Uh, I told JV waiting for HHN there. I don't know what that means. Triple H, maybe? Maybe, maybe Triple H? I don't know. Uh, anyway. All right. So, anyway, v Viserys is like going, dude. Uh, he's like, I, I don't want to talk about politics. Fuck this crap. I'm tired of, I'm tired of this. And I want to drink. He starts drinking uh, more and more and more. We've sent outriders to find Rhaenyra, your grace. Sir Criston went after her, so the hope is that they are together. The girl is a heedless contrarian. If I instead forbade her to wed a Lannister, she would have run off with Lord Jason out of spite. Truly great Targaryen king. Oh, Dragon. Halloween Horror Nights. Powerless over my own daughter of seven and ten. King Jaehaerys ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. His daughters in particular. It is tradition, Your Grace. <laughs> and another big old swig. Do you wish to hear my opinion on the matter? Why not? Everybody else is getting theirs. Look, I guess. <laughs> you believe that your son, Sir Harwin Breakbones, the strongest knight in the Seven Kingdoms, is the best match for an era. You flatter me, Your Grace, but no. It would seem oh. to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the Sea Snake, Selena. Some years ago, I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. Lenor is of pure Valyrian descent. He shares blood with your cousin, the Princess Renice, and he is the heir to the wealthiest house in the realm. The breach between your houses has not narrowed since I last spoke of it. It would do much to assuage Lord Corlys of any slights, real or imagined. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. <coughs> 
So that's a thank you. Also, at the same time, um, Allison no notices that Viserys is smashed off his ass. Yep. A little drunky drunk. A little wine drunk. Mm. Um, so we, we get more of Renera and Sir Kristen Cole. Is this the campfire scene? <laughs> oh, this scene is like bullshit. Mm -hmm. Tell me something, Miss Crystal. Do you think the realm will ever accept me as their queen? I have no choice but to, Princess. Yes, sir, that was a long delayed response. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He took a little too long. Just for the record, in real life, when when the forest gets it has uh, sounds of you know um, the forest just has sounds. Uh, when when all of a sudden it goes quiet, that usually means you're fucked. just no. Um, Run. And in the United States, I mean, it could be wolves, it could be a cougar, mountain lion, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's just oh uh, it could be so hogs. Hogs. Hogs, a lot hogs. of hogs. Hogs? Yeah, a lot of hogs. <laughs> they probably have a ton down uh, in uh, Billy's place around there. In Texas, uh, they have a shitload of boars. Yeah. Razorbacks. Yeah, they're, they're a pest. Yes. Like pythons in Florida, they're a pest. Oh my okay. gosh, do you want me to catch one for you, Tyler? Yeah, oh my god, yes. <laughs> man, man. <laughs> please, please right don't. Like gun. They're, they're very dangerous. <laughs> you can teach it to spit fire. <laughs> yeah, they're like super. Yeah, okay, she would die. Now, like yeah, no, that, okay, okay, that, okay, that poor, okay, that, that poor part, that knocked me accurate, and then this part is just ridiculous. Yeah, that boar knocked knocked a full grown man off his feet and launched him. And he now would, a small girl is going to wrestle it. Right, that boar would tear right through her like paper. Yeah. Well, especially because it's kind of mauling her a little bit. All right. Let's watch. Like it turns around, goes back to her. It looks like it's mauling yeah, no, her to death no, no, right no. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She'd be at least like bleeding profusely by the time he got over there. Mm -hmm. Right. Instead of, I don't know, was it that giving her like snuggle? Was it giving her like <laughs> yeah. It was just saying, hi, hi there. Hi there. Hey, I want to play. No, I want to play. Oh, I'm a piggy. I'm a little piggy. He's <laughs> not <It's laughs> <no, it's laughs> snoring. <laughs> <laughs> start, start, start. Oh, you stabbed me in the head, you dick. <laughs> it's it's so bad. Yeah. The fact that Hollywood, uh, and I'm going to speed this up a little bit, um, that, that Hollywood doesn't just know. I named her to protect her. Hey, Tim. What's up, buddy? Hey, Tim. Hey, hey Tim. Child. The realm is You're talking about Ministry of Ungentlemanly. Uh, that's called. I'm looking forward to that one. Or Rebel Moon. Mm hmm. Y you, oh, you know, no. um, little little known secret. Yikes! Anna's a massive fan of Rebel Moon. Oh, oh really? yeah. Okay. Yeah. You leave my Love girlfriend it. all alone there, Ryan. Love it. <laughs> she hates Rebel Moon. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> he loathes it. Yeah, it was. was uh, that was a rough watch. I'm probably not going to watch the second part. I'm going to watch the second oh. one. Oh, oh, come on for content. Come on now. Oh, yeah. I'd have to pay for Netflix again. I don't really want to. All right, so we're 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 at the fire scene here, and uh, Allison and Viserys are having a conversation because Viserys has smashed off his ass. Believe what, my love? My love. 
Even though I turn my head, now, we we do stuff. Now, now, and Many now, and here, and here, here you see a little arrogance in Viserys because because to Viserys acknowledges himself as a dragon what is the dreamer. Of dragon? Mm -hmm. It's the path of prophecy. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is where he so so he is like, why 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 do we put so much emphasis on dragons? I can see the future. I have seen the future. I and yet we give praise to people like Damon and Aegon and not people like me. Mm -hmm. So, just saying. Anna, would you like to, do you want to add anything? No, I agree with JV. Okay. Just just want to make sure that you don't want to add anything. Well, I don't want to keep the ladies out of the conversation. I'm okay with keeping Tyler out of the conversation, though. They obey. Born to me. <laughs> That's <laughs> not nice. <laughs> <laughs> like allergies. It's not a pollen thing. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, holy shit, my eye. It's just. Yeah. No, it's just in my eye now, too. Look at that. Oh, God. I never came again. I poured all my thought and will into it. My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. Viserys. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss of grief and regret. But naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. But I would have a son. Oh, boy. If I was wrong, he's a sad drunk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it, sometimes it happens to the best of us. Oh, sad, sad drunks. Sad drunks are uh, annoying. Angry drunks, you just tell to leave. The violent drunks, you you know where the limit is, and you stop them right before that. Happy drunks are fine. Karaoke drunks are stupid. The sad drunk is the one you, the one you just, they want to have a conversation and you just want to slit your wrists. Where do the drunks <laughs> fall in that call their or text their ex? Uh, that's a sad drunk too. That'd be slit fun. my wrist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe the angry drunk, depending on the text. Just give me cancer now. <laughs> I usually go for, uh, depending on how much I've had, I go from happy drunk to, um, and then there's too much, and it's like it gets a little sad. Oh, you I don't know. Well, yeah, because it depends on how much you drink. That's why you you don't go past that buzz. It's a good solid buzz is good for everybody. Yeah, but when you when you get shit um, house, it's like going. That's when you get it's like you know some people become a sad okay. sack. D D D. D day um does he want to be like Damon with this statement he just made no he he is more wondering why folks would why think why people think more highly of people like Damon as opposed to him as he said what is the power of a dragon next to the power of prophecy I have seen mm. the future yeah so I have I have more power than Damon does Damon is Damon is a blunt object. It's kind of like a bull in a china shop. Just let him loose. <laughs> and you no, sort it out I, later. I, no, I, I, I don't think that Damon is a bull in a china shop at all. He, he does have some qualities that make him maybe a little bit impulsive, but he at least has like a, a reason to do the things that he does. And he's yeah. no, no, I, I, I agree. And, and you said a little bit, and I kind of extended it because he's 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 medium impulsive. But but look, I'm a huge fan of Damon Targaryen. Again, um, I would actually probably allude to the ladies on this one because um, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. there, there, I, I I think I think the ladies would would probably read Damon better in, in in his intentions to where you know just why why are you saying that. Because I think people from diff different perspectives read read other people better. So, what so like it, with ladies, I I think that everybody else on the panel who is male would identify with Damon. It has nothing to do with being female. Well, I'm going to shut the hell up now. 
I, I, I'm just going to scoot back here and just let the arrow sling sling here. Nope. I'm not fucking <laughs> retarded. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is that face, dude? Give me the, the popcorn. Stop that. The Michael Jackson popcorn meme. Um, stop that. Shy. Yeah, don't do that full screen because I'm shy, you guys. Uh, we're still moving on. I'm not stupid. Good okay. lord. We're like halfway through. Now, okay, so, so uh, okay, so now, so this is also important here because this entire scene for for the king is a letdown because he yeah. was told because he was told they're gonna have they they found a white heart again. This is a sign of the from um, the gods or whatever. And when they finally find this stag, it's not it's not a white stag. It's it's a big stag and it's it's a it is a impressive kill. Even though he didn't do really anything to, I, I was gonna say this doesn't count as a kill if they tie it up and you just go stab it. That's that's not a kill. No, right. I hate it. That's an execution. Right. It, I mean, that would exactly. be good, like, for hunting if you could go out and they just had like an elk tied to a tree and you could just shoot it. But yeah, no, I, really I hate it. So this is this and is this bullshit. is also this is not hunting. Okay. No, and this is not. This is also and this is also just shows this and for me just the symbolism of just how weak a king. Viserys is. He can't even make uh -huh. yeah, that's he, true. that 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 he can't even land a killing blow when they've the got first it. Time. Yeah, when they've right. got it right where it needs to be. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. And then again, had he actually been a real hunter, he would know. It doesn't really seem like he wants to do it either. I don't know if. No, he doesn't seem like he wants to. Yeah, do it it, it's, he it's kind of another another one of those things that he just has to do because of the position. You know? Okay, so okay, so had this been had this been that white stag that that he was told, he would have been a lot more excited. This is a letdown for him because be, okay. because now it's yeah, like because yeah, now it's like because now it's like his dream is oh I was wrong, and this is not a sign from among the gods, and you know this was not ordained. You know what was a sign from the gods? Right. And as a result, the white stag shows itself to Rhaenyra. And it's, and again, that's, again, just the way it looks, very regal. Mm-hmm. That is a, that is a hot ass deer right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I totally I would, would, I, would. Oh, I, have no. to, I have to be honest if I was hunting in the woods I would not shoot that one um, I wouldn't do it I wouldn't be hunting I, so. I would disagree with, with that but, mm. but you're probably not going to see it's not around hunting so that, that that's also what I'm saying like going is that because I grew up around hunting that Viserys doesn't first off he, he looks like he doesn't want to do it Oh, Secondly, absolutely. Yeah. He he doesn't know where to actually target the animal uh -huh. to limit its pain to be done within 10 seconds. Okay, and but then again, this is this is also a king that we have established is becoming more and more frail. So so his strength has waned, he's mm. prob probably hung over and He's disappointed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. So get a little bit of commotion. I, I did. Um, so we have like 20-ish minutes left. Uh, mm -hmm. if, if anybody needs to bounce, it's it's cool. Like when I, I know that the, it's late for a lot of people. I don't have to work tomorrow. So and um, anybody got to bounce? I think after we get through this stuff, it just kind of it's kind of the battle, and we don't really have that much. Right. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So okay. So okay. So right before we get to this, not much commentary. We get to when we get to where Viserys and Rhaenyra speak, and he explains to her that it it is your duty to marry, but you're but I'm I'm gonna let you choose. So you 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 can have your pick of all the lords of Westeros. This is after after she comes riding back back into camp and she's got a boar attached and there's 
Harwin Breakbone Strong. And the theme and, and Rhaenyra's theme, again, Raman Jawadi is a fucking genius. Yep. Yeah, I agree. All right, so going back, um, Allison's literally on her back because she's she's like she's like nine eight nine months pregnant. She's and that is and that is with that is with um Helena, who will become who will become Aegon's Aegon's wife. Mm. Yeah. We have not. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm just talking to Otto. Here we go. I'm serious. I was hoping we might discuss something. As a, as a young actress, I'd like to compliment the fact that she does very, very good uh, playing opposite of Patty Constantine, who is... Uh, in Come my down. opinion, right. Yeah, th thank you. Um, who is a, a much more established actor? Um, I don't know if that maybe played something into it that, like, maybe he helped kind of like give her some points. But Patty Constantine is is incredible. Whatever you think about I mean, Sarah's, he, he's incredible in this show. I mean, this is and, and this is Matt. Him and Matt Damon, they steal the shows. Matt Smith, you mean? Playing Damon. Yeah, 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 Matt Damon. God damn it. Fuck. So, and so, uh, so <laughs> Matt Damon, so, Targaryen. <laughs> so, Patty Cosin died. This is, this is definitely his, this is definitely his breakout role because he has been mostly known as a character a actor for most of his career. This is the first, this is the first like serious lead role he's had and he nailed it. So, Ramira. I do not think she enjoyed Jason Lannister's company. <laughs> she is cross. I wonder if no, she, she did. would be. Wow. has come of age. She must needs marry a high lord who will honor her, defend mm -hmm. her, and serve her as king consort. Her wishes in this matter are irrelevant. I do believe that Rhaenyra will marry your grace. But she must believe it is her choice to do so. Good call. Mm -hmm. What's this? Now, now, now. In this case, Allison is doing this on 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 behalf of on behalf of Rhaenyra and her husband to ease the to ease the tension. There, this has not, nothing to do with with her dad's schemes. No, it doesn't. Vaymon Valarian. Ugh, Vaymon. Ugh, that weasel. He's fighting in the Stepstones with all the rest of them. May I? Well, Corliss and Prince Damon are losing their war. Badly, by all accounts. This is a plea for aid. Then why not send this? From Vaymond, it, from Vaymond, is it a plea for aid or is it a plea you need for don't blame me? Vaymond's a snake. He is. But Allison seems to interpret it differently. Given by her face in this. No. Unhappy with decisions I made. If I now provide Damon and call his sucker, what will that say of their king? Perhaps that he is a good man who loves his brother. Well, if you truly mm. believe that, my dear, then you possess a generous spirit. What do you believe, Viserys? 
that I am forever doomed to anger one person in the pleasing of another. Oh, darn. It's a simpler question. Oh, it's called being a if king, you fuck. The crab feeder thrives or is vanquished. There you go. Practicality. Make haste to dwarf stone, Sir Adam. And deliver this to Prince Damon yourself. At once, Your Grace. Dwarfstone. I'm sending word to Damon. Aid is sailing to the Stepstones. Did he make call for help? He would sooner die. But his king does not mean to allow that. Mm. Wasn't no, your idea, doesn't. bro. No, no, I know, but again, this isn't necessarily his idea. Okay, well, okay, so this is, a, and again, we, again, again, we see the problem with with the king. People like Otto, people like the other uh, other lords are are more like, dude, let him rot. Who cares? It's Damon. No one likes him. It anyway. We, we don't want him around, and. Being the people pleaser that 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 uh, that he is, and if he wants to invite them to his next party, he's going to acquiesce to what they want, as opposed to doing what is right. And Allison says, in a very practical way, is it better that you is it better that you swallow your pride and send your brother some aid, or let this pirate run roughshod? down here mm -hmm. yes oh Sasquatch. hello okay caucasian Sasquatch. Yeah. yes i have yeah. arrived and my phone is dead <laughs> also just for the record dude you're in jv's chat what the fuck thought you're supposed to be sipping over me motherfucker because i'm cooler <laughs> Hi Tyler, welcome back. See, Hi. see, see. Look, he says specimen, but in your chat, I, I'm, I'm a not. specimen. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> to cry, <laughs> but I'm a specimen. Probably not. somebody's jelly. Maybe slightly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. So decision correct. But I want to be the specimen. No, I actually am specimen. Okay, oh, buddy. Hey, you sure are. You sure are, buddy. Will you insist on taking after him? Little, little fella. Must everything be a battle? He will stamp you. I was trying to. Oh, you know what? Really, why must every effort on your behalf be resisted, as if to the death? Because you mean to replace me. Ooh, With Alison Hightower's son. There we go. Oh, you always wanted. You have him in hand now. You, you have no further use for me. You might as well peddle me for what you can. A mountain stronghold or a fleet of ships. You have misjudged me, Rhaenyra. Oh, know it. Jason Lannister knows it. You said it yourself. The lords of the realm gather like vultures to a carcass, hoping to feast on my bones. Yep. It is true that as rulers we must marry for advantage, to forge alliances and bolster our strength. You have always understood this. I myself was promised to your mother when I was ten, ten and seven years of age. The Vale had an army to rival the North. I've heard that story since I've had ears too. I loved her. She made a man of me. I do not seek to replace you, child. You've been much alone these last few years. Alone and angry. I will not live forever. I wish to see you contented. Happy, even. You think a man will do it? A family. I had a family. What would you have me do? If it was for advantage, you would have wed Lena Valarian. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bang! Nice. Yeah. Yep. True enough. You must marry. 
strengthen your own claim. Shore up your succession. Multiply. As to your match. Make it yourself. Search him out. Find one that pleases you. As I did. Rhaenyra. I did waver. At one time. But I swear to you now, on your mother's memory, you will not be supplanted. Okay. Okay, well. You said it. Yeah. Well, shit, there it is. There we go. Now, can we get that on record? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a notary in here. Get the notary yeah. in here. Yeah, exactly. Sure, sure. <laughs> Set up that camera for the deposition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So fast Long forward. Story. Just fast. Fast forward. We're in the Stepstones. Damon kills it. Kills it. Kills the messenger. Oh, spoiler, bro. I know. Because he's. Right. He's looking a little mm -hmm. rough, too. No, the bloodier and dirtier, the better. Wow. I, mean, I, I can't comment that on that wrong. because. That sounds wrong. That sounds really wrong. To join the effort in the <laughs> Though time and circumstance have seen us estranged, know that it is not my desire to see you fail in your cause. It is instead my hope that this aid will deliver the victory that has thus far evaded us. And this puts Damon's plan into fast to forward because, for because, because he wants to end this before that aid arrives. As if to say, I never knew you, did you? Oh, yeah. That's so Damon. Lily, Lily, do you go uh, Damon over Jon Snow? Uh, oh my gosh, Tyler, how dare you? <laughs> oh, I dare. I dare. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is. Now crazy. you got to make the decision. Yeah. Um. Yeah, pick a man. See, I know John would be much better for me because I need somebody to pull me out. Damon would just make me worse. <laughs> I would make him worse. Oh God. Okay. Also, John probably doesn't want it. He doesn't, want he doesn't want anything. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Damon. I want to take over Westeros. Okay. Oh, oh, shocking, shocking! <laughs> I, I, I was gonna say I, I I called Damon from from the get go because <laughs> for you or for Lily? For Lily? What do you okay. mean for me? Oh. <laughs> no, I mean you are gay, so and late. I'm actually not, but. Sure. You were late. late. That is true. Okay, okay, I was late and gay, but not <laughs> actually gay. And you got and 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 you got men in the chat call calling you a specimen. So I'm 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 just saying. <laughs> well, I mean, just because you get hit on doesn't by a dude doesn't mean you're gay. Mm -hmm. How often does that happen? I it's happened a few times on <laughs> today. Every, every time he goes to a gay bar. I was gonna say, <laughs> don't go to exactly. gay bar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right. I have been to a few gay bars in the past, but no, I because I have gay friends. I've been every time them. I go to this men's spa, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, also, <laughs> what the fuck is a men's spa? What is that? You guys don't have men's spas, yeah, like bathhouse, like Swedish bathhouse, Jesus. No, I, I I I live in a small city, okay. so no, I don't know what the fuck that is. I, I'm sure they have a, a bathhouse somewhere. Well, they do. Quincy's used to be the gay bar here. I just don't know if it's still there. Okay. Okay. I don't like you, Tyler. I don't like. I don't like. All right, all right. So, so this is the iconic scene of we yes. we see 
Oh, Damon, go. This right here, the iconic wow. gif scene, whatever. This is where Damon goes from Damon Targaryen in, into Leroy Targaryen. Oh yeah. Jenkins. Look, look, looking for the dragon. No dragon. <laughs> I don't understand how he actually thought Damon was the lead. <laughs> he deserved what happened to him. I actually do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. We're getting real close. Well, because oh, well, because he needed to take off part of, part of his real armor to insert his plot ar armor on. <laughs> no, he's just badass. There's no plot armor. You're wrong. There's no plot armor. There's a lot of plot armor. Thank you. Leroy! If you know that Leroy Jenkins, like, going, it ends badly. Loose. Of course, in reality, this is horrible. Right, plot armor. Not great. He got Rhaenyra's from the piggy. Well, especially when he trips over the damn barrel. guys at him. We don't have enough guys. A little grayscale there. It's okay. Yeah, a little grayscale. What are you going to do? A little bit. Give cream for, for that. <laughs> a little salad. <laughs> <laughs> All the arrows falling. He stabs the guy in the neck, and he doesn't. He doesn't get stabbed before that. Look. Yeah, it's called plot armor. Mm -hmm. You keep saying plot armor. What is that? Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the show. I'm not sure what plot armor is. Okay. It's when like the the hero can't get injured by anything. I know it's a joke. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know, man. <laughs> don't make me do it. Dude, I'm shy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, guy. Oh, I'm so shy. Oh. All right, we, we we're we're literally almost done. All right, so Damon is uh has been surrounded. And he's like, oh shit. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But no, we have a plan. Yeah. Draw them out. And then drag them. I don't know what that was. Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Wait a moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, hi there, Sea Smoke. Yeah. Wow, that did not sound cool when he said it. No, it, it's not. It's well, not that... cool when he says it. Eh, Dracatus. I mean, the it's fire just... still came out. That's still pretty cool. Right? I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, cool. it worked. It worked. So you got Lenor on his dragon. Mm -hmm. And that weapon that Corliss has, it's like a, it's like an axe on the one end and just a big blunt 
club thing on the other end. It's gnarly. And Damon goes into the cave with good old Dark Sister and makes short make short work of the crab feeder. Which if there which if there was grayscale on him, yeah, Damon's dragging him. Yeah. Damon's dragging him. Would that not be is there a maybe he put on some of those like rubber gloves before he Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. I don't know. Plot gotcha. armor. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the dead body in the surf is cool? Yeah. The, yes. the, the uh, entrails coming out and stuff? Yeah. It's Damon's it's beautiful art. <laughs> That'll be all right. Well, well Lily is in the medical field. Uh, with that being said, we that ends the episode we are still under two hours so we're gonna go around the horn here and um we're gonna let uh tyler the redbeard go first uh yeah thanks i'm still uh doing some editing and stuff on my um second movie um you can check out the trailer for that one and the uh, and i actually watched the other one on uh, that website there littlebigmovies.com if you guys want to do that um, that's about all I got. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me, dude. You're part of part of the show. Like, what? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, speaking of, okay, well, don't th th thanks not don't thanks for having me. Then, yeah, we'll go with that. That's right, bitch. Thank you, Debsy, for doing that for dropping dropping links. Uh, yes, also the links are in in all the all the descriptions and stuff like that on multiple platforms. Uh, Mister. Well, um, Cliff Saris? Sure, I'll take it. Um, yeah, it's six o'clock in the morning. You're tired, dude. I get it. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm awake, <laughs> but not long. Not, not for long. Not, not for long. No, I, I, it, it, it was a great episode. Loved it. Uh, yeah. Stuff is coming up. I don't know. <laughs> okay, stuff stuff is stuff. coming up. There you go. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Um. So, Lily, what, what do you got coming up? Um. Oh, I thought I was going before JB. Um. I wasn't ready. <laughs> um. So just check out Twix for whatever is happening. Everything should be posted up on there. Outstanding. All right. Well, uh, you know, I, I I can't. I mean, Anna, um, what do you got going on? Nobody cares what I have going on. Oh, it's a kitty. kitty. Check out uh, <laughs> everybody on the panel and uh, Fallout. Cat yes, meat so <laughs> instead of dog meat. That okay. cat is like, leave me alone. <laughs> was he sleeping? Cat, he was sleeping, wasn't he? Right now. <laughs> and lastly, and certainly not the least, because the women are the best part of this show, uh, it would be Mr. JV. That's right. So thank you, chat, for being being here. Panelists is always fun. Always, I love this show. I'm glad we get, get to talk, talk about this. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday night is overbooked. Tyler, are you going to be there for that or, or no? No. No. So it'll, it'll be myself, Ryan, Left Eye Ego, possibly Brad Duke Devil 95. We will see what we will see what his schedule is. And then Roman of the Empire for a chill stream, recapping the Vegas meetup and all, all the shenanigans that ensued. And then Friday, back here again for Friday Night's Royal Rumble. This started off from his ch channel, but no one gives two shits about that. So we're going to end it with me giving you the one word that ends every stream in the most loving way po possible. And that is doodles. <laughs>